So this is a 5x8 utility trailer I picked up from Tractor Supply a little bit over two and a half years ago. And all this time, I've been using this piece of wood as a stand. And it's a problem uh, because if I were to move this trailer, say to my daughter's house, and I needed to leave it there to go to the hardware store or what have you, I probably will be hard pressed to find a piece of wood like this and normally you will leave it on the ground like so and that's not gonna work so what I've done is I purchased a stand for it a swivel stand let me show you and here it is this is the stand this is also a carry-on uh, stand built specifically for these utility trailers So it comes with all the hardware that you're gonna need for your trailer There you go four bolts and nuts a set of instructions which You're really not gonna need because this is very easy very simple and I'm about to show you. So all we have here are the four bolts and the nuts. We have these two brackets. I'm also gonna use a 14 millimeter socket and a 14 millimeter wrench. And, or you can also use a, a, an impact driver with a 14 millimeter socket. So I'm gonna put it on this side with the swivel lock facing up. This is the lock right here. And just keep in mind that, you know, keep it away from your trailer. I have about an inch there. And I also want to keep this here. So I want about an inch here as well. And when it swivels, obviously this will go down and this will come up. Yeah, it's going to be tough to put it by myself, but I think it'll be okay. I think this, I, this will go right about here. Yeah, so all these holes, I have one, two, three, four, should line up with the holes in the back. Right about there. Making sure that it doesn't hit back here and that I have a little bit of space so I can grab it if I have to. Hmm. You know what? That's about right right there. Yeah, this, this is going to be nice. And I have to do it by myself, so... Ah, let me get the bolts ready. All right, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, I, I guess you can put it on this side with this lock facing down, but no, I'd rather have it up. I mean, for now, I can pretty much put it anywhere and then just move it later. Yeah, it's kind of weird. There we go. And now this bottom one should line up with the other bottom one on this bracket. Let's see if this will work. All right, guys, so I've already started a couple of bolts. I'm gonna install the other two. And then I'm going to tighten up at the very end. I'm going to use my knees or my legs to hold it in place. Yeah, I guess it'll be better with two people, but I don't know. I do everything on my own anyway, so this will work. All right, watch my, okay, here's my wrench. All right guys, so, don't tighten it all the way, that way you can move it back and forth. I need to come over a couple of inches. 
There we go. And yeah, that's about right. That is perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten them to, well, I'm gonna tighten it to 25 foot pounds or so. That's what Carry On recommends, 25 foot pounds. Now I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna do it by hand. Or finish it off by hand. Oh, it's looking good. And now I can just pull this up and it swivels. There he goes. And if I turn it, it's gonna go down. There we go, guys. There we go. It works like a charm. And now I can get rid of this piece of wood and I can burn it in my wood boiler. And guys, one of the advantages is this. I can just move it around, look. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Makes my life easier. Now one thing you can do is cut these bolts off. So it'll, it'll be a little bit, yeah, flush with the nut. Hmm, I'm thinking about it. And I think I will. There we go guys, yeah it's a little warm still, but not too warm. Whoa, now these are definitely hot, so I'm going to let them cool off for another five minutes or so. But yeah, I'm looking good, and I definitely love this feature. And to make a swivel, there we go. Yeah, you want it like this when you're traveling, but obviously here 
um, when it's not connected to the tractor or the truck or the SUV you want this down as a jack stand beautiful I like it so much that I should have thought about this two and a half years ago so again guys this is the uh, what the carry-on um, they call it the carry-on sidewind round swivel jack and it cost me $69.99 at tractor supply plus taxes and it'll fit any carry-on and obviously due to the amount of holes that you see here on the brackets and on this it'll fit a variety of tra uh, trailers out there huh, so yeah I'm happy have been a great jack stand over two and a half years.